Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. Now, we met the high school detective Akechi in the last episode. He doesn't think that the Phantom Thieves really have good intentions. He kind of thinks that they're evil or they should be tried for the actions that they made when they changed people's hearts. We're going to prove to him that we are good-ass people. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because here we go. And also, Yusuke is our new roommate. He is going to be taking this couch from now on. Let's talk to him a little bit. Did something happen? Aren't you going to sleep yet? I will be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. Okay, I guess he's just gonna stare at me while I go to sleep. That's not creepy at all. <sighs> I'm gonna protect my sleeping beauty, no matter what it takes. But I'm still awake! Whoa! I'm not talking about you! Wait, don't eavesdrop on me! Well, don't talk out loud then! Let me see the plant some thieves. Nice. It's pretty healthy for now? Alright, cool. Guess we're gonna Whoa. go to sleep. You needn't worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Uh, I hope he doesn't expect me to make miso soup and grill some fish for him. This dude is a straight-up diva. I don't know what his problem is, but he needs to cut it out. What's up, guys? How's everybody doing this fine evening? The prisoner has returned. You're yes, in the I presence have. of our master. Stand up straight. All right, all right. Calm down. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. Thank you. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Right. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, you're picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Thank you. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. All right, what's this motherfucker going to give me? I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. Oh, here we go, here we go. Right off the bat, and... Yes! Prison Master Arcana Fool Rank 5. Super Stock. Increases your Persona Stock to 10 slots. Oh, right. yeah, buddy. It's almost time. Almost time for what? Almost time for me to wakey wakey and whoop some ass? We still gotta figure out who our next target is. Sai showed us when we were in the interrogation room some kind of chubby dude. I remember that. I think he had like slick back hair. He kind of looked like a pig. You know what Miss Piggy looks like? He looked like that but in male form. So we gotta be on the lookout for somebody like that. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? I'm starting to like this girl a lot, guys. I'm liking Makoto. Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? I like her voice. You're quite perceptive. I like his voice, too. I like both of their voices. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. Mm, I don't know about that. the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. And yeah, guys, Makoto's sister is that woman, Sai. The one who's interrogating us inside of wherever we're being held at. So that was a pretty weird surprise. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? Because he is. You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. Well, he's definitely not the humble detective. You have such high self-esteem. So the phantom thieves are evil and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. <laughs> Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Wow! Oh, what looks an like asshole. it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. 
Being called a pushover is never a compliment. Why does everyone get on my case? I don't know, Makoto. Don't be sad. Whenever she gets sad, she makes me sad. Oh, man. We're gonna cheer Makoto up. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. Oh yeah, I knew that. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. Like he thought he could stay at An's place and get her just like that. Uh-uh, girlfriend. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. Aww. I was kind of getting used to the idea of having like a roommate. That would have been pretty cool. I mean, we have I Morgana, see. so that's chill. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. Oh, I see how it is. I thought we were broski, Shijiro. Okay, okay, I'll remember that. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too. Besides just stealing your talents. Nah, I think he just stole his talents. That was Truth pretty much told, it. I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, <laughs> I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. He's gonna leave the Sayuri here? Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. That's a good way of putting it. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. Hey, that'll be 250. I'll come again. You're finally awake. Where's Yusuke? I'm hungry. Yeah, we don't care about Yusuke, we're hungry. We know where Yusuke's going. That's the first thing you have to say to me? You guys sure do eat a lot. That reminds me, I haven't seen Yusuke around. Maybe he already went downstairs? Maybe, baby. You're, You're finally up. up. You know it's past noon. The kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Sayuri. How nice of him. Let's just say, how nice of him. It was pretty generous for him to leave the Sayuri here with us. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Don't cats usually take themselves out? That's why people get cats, so they don't have to walk them on a leash. You've never seen somebody outside walking a cat on a leash. If you have, they're probably crazy. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I have entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sajiro. The painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Hey, so, hey. Yusuke went home, huh? Oh well, guess that's best. Who's texting me? Yo, I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Oh, hell no! Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. 
My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because we got caught up in all those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Damn! Things are really starting to get serious. Let's look into it. It's probably a false tip. What should we do? Well, of course we gotta look into it. If they're using the Phantom Thieves name and they're like doing burglary and stuff like that, we gotta put an end to that because then people think it's gonna be the real Phantom Thieves, right? I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way! The police would totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, if they target restaurants... Aha! What if we drew them to LeBlanc? What?! Hmm. There's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? LeBlanc targeted! It seems like a viable plan to me. Let's do it. That's a horrible idea! Uh, do we really want to risk that? Let's say, let's do it. Cut it out! You'd get kicked out of LeBlanc if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I had forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we can make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try looking for stuff, too. Okay, let me check my IMs because I seem to have a lot. Well, two is a lot to me, okay? Side effects or a different request? You know what? We're gonna go for the doctor. We love the doctor. Have you had any side effects since then? Have you collapsed? I'd like to check you out just in case. Oh, she wants to check us out. All right. I don't have any patients. Could you stop by the clinic? Takemi is waiting for you at the clinic. You want to go see her? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it, baby. Mm -hmm. This place should work. The conditions here are perfect for gathering data outside of the clinic. This should also help me see the reactions to more external variables, such as a change in environment. Well then, shall we begin? You're changing something? What are you going to make me do? What's on today's menu? Yeah, we got to be confident. Well, aren't I lucky to have such a cooperative test subject? And that was three notes, baby. We nailed that answer. You really are helpful. Now then, strip and go for a swim in that lake. What? You want me to strip and you can see my pee pee? Only kidding. We're going to do a control test. I want to record some data without you having taken any medicine. I need some comparison data, and today I'm going to gather every last bit of it. The more test data I have, the more helpful it'll be. This is important, so don't slack off. Okay, now go for a run. About five kilometers should do. Not kidding this time. Aw, oh, damn it, I hate running. I feel like my bond with Takemi will grow stronger soon. Oh, it's not gonna grow stronger now? What? Oh, man. I think I hate running the most out of anything. Like, I remember back in high school when we used to do PE. I used to hate running the most. Like, I would do any of the other stuff, but just like running the mile or running in general. I feel like running is stupid without a purpose. So what do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that's sudden. Well, after what that guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. You're talking about a catchy kun right? I know how you feel. Ah, that high school detective. He'd have to shut up if we change another person's heart. Perhaps. Definitely. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Either way, I don't think we should leave a catchy kun be. This is the perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let us gather at the hideout tomorrow. Okay, let me check my IMs one more time. Speech today? I don't give a damn about your speech. I'll be giving a speech today at the station square as usual. Do you think you can come by? Eh? Fine. Oh, we gotta listen to this boring ass speech. Passing on the societal ills we have created to the next generation. And there I am again. I'm not even talking to him. I'm just holding a sign in front of my big ass forehead. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. You. I hope you gleaned something useful from today's speech. Regardless of the audience's size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one on one. By the way, I forgot to ask you last time we spoke. Why do you want to become a politician? 
so I can get some pussy. I want to change the world. I want to improve my speech. I'm not sure. I want to change the world, baby. Can't you see? Hmm? Ambitious indeed, if a little ambiguous. Well, I'm sure you'll iron out the details as you go along. May I ask you one more question? Okay, this guy's starting to ask a lot of questions. What kind of politician do you want to be? One with conviction? A popular one? I don't know yet. I feel like the answer is this one. Yes, don't ever forget that, although what's important is what lies within. You're right. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you want to accomplish? That is the foundation of a great speech. You do well to remember that. That was helpful. I knew that already. What I want to accomplish? Let's just say that was helpful. We want to get as many notes as we can. One note? Are you kidding me? I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is... Very well. Never give up until your voice is heard. To get your message across, be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you have me reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Yoshida explained the basics of speech giving. I feel like my bond with him is growing deeper. Okay, okay, let's roll it up, baby, and... Men of the people, son rank two. Diplomacy. Occasionally ask for more money or items during negotiations. Oh, yeah. Right. I like that. So now we can get more of the good stuff when we whoop some Shadow's asses. Get the hell out of here, no good Torah! Mm. No good Torah? They're right. I am no good. Oh, my apologies. We're done for today. I feel like learning about the basics of negotiation has served to increase my charm? Yeah, baby! Come on, rank it up, rank it up! Ah, it's okay. We're still right. head turning, level two. Oh. oh, good. You haven't gone home yet. Ooh, what does she want to talk to us about? Najima san's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. What? Uh. <sighs> Makoto Najima san is the class president of Shujin Academy. The student council room is on the third floor next to the library. Got it? Got it. Ugh. Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Aw, oh, man, I thought she was going to talk to us about some other stuff. Like some maid stuff. You know what I'm saying, guys? Maybe she wants to clean up some things. Maybe she wants to polish a few items that need some cleaning. You guys catch my drift? Our president wants a word with you. Don't cause her any trouble, okay? All right. I don't want any trouble. Do not want any trouble. All right, let's go inside here. Let's see what Makoto wants. Excuse me, Najima-san. Ah, ah. Than expected. Oh shit, she's talking. Okay, never mind. Let me shut up. Have a seat. Have a seat. I want to stand up. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Oh boy. Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. Oh god, have a listen. You know when they say have a listen, they got some shit on you that you cannot deny. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Oh god. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a funny story. We screwed up. Yeah, we screwed up big time. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Oh, she's making me uncomfortable, guys. Won't you tell me how you did it? No idea. Not sure what you mean. Ask the culprits. Should we play dumb? Let's say no idea. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? Uh-huh. I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> That's preposterous! Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? they think that you're batshit crazy. It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's yeah, no I know. what'll happen to you, too. You know, she can hear a cat meowing inside of that bag. 
So can you just? If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? I have a right to be silent. Let me think about it. Da, 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 da. Let's say that we have the right to be silent. That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Yeah, pretty much. Go ahead. Yo. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. You're such a motherfucker, Ryuji. <laughs> what a kawinky dink! That idiot! Why would he Loud call just always. to say that? But his timing's perfect. Seriously, almost too perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? Oh, I great. guess it can't be helped now. All right, guys. So Makoto knows, and she has all the abidons that she needs in order to get us arrested. So, oh, let's see what happens. Hmm. Here. Is that girl a friend of yours? What? What the hell? Hi, guys. What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On to Kamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? This girl's good. A little too good. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame. While those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Right. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. Oh, really? She wants to make a deal. I'm down there for some deals. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. I'd like some deal or no deals, please. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. Well, we really don't have a choice. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. Okay, so Makoto knows all about us. She has evidence on her phone, and she wants to make a deal on the rooftop. This is getting you interesting as hell. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? Yeah, but you were louder than she was. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay, baby girl. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they can prove our methods. That is true. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Yeah, the more I think about how this all works, how would the cops even go into the world that we can go into because they haven't, like, unleashed their persona or they can't even go into that other world? Unless they have, like, the app on their phone, they can't directly go inside of that world. So there's going to be no evidence. Even if Makoto shows that to the police, there's no way that they can prove that. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation after all. That's true too. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then, we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes, it's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah, my bad. My bad? So, we doing this? That was real bad, not just my bad. It's our only choice. We have to if everyone wants to. It's basically our only choice. 
All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? I don't really think she's scheming anything. I feel like she's tired of being the pushover, like Akechi said. And, and she wants some justice. She wants the sweet, sweet justice! I'm so effing pissed. Do we just gotta do what she says? Considering what has happened, it seems we have no other choice. I wonder whose heart the student council president wants us to change. Don't matter to me. But there might be a reason behind who she picks, right? I wonder who it is. I don't care. Let's turn her down. I wonder who it is. I am curious myself. She mentioned how she wants us to prove our justice. Did she not? Yeah, she definitely did. Then there must be some reasoning behind her choice. Please contact me immediately if you find anything out. And don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? I ain't dumb! God, this song is so good. This song has been in my head every time I stop playing Persona. Or sometimes, like, when I end an episode, this screen will be on, right? And then this song will just keep replaying and replaying. It's so beautiful, I never get tired of it. Be careful. She's a shrewd one. We best be prepared for anything. Let me check Planty. Nice. Healthy. Okay, let me check my TV because I think I rented DVDs and I need to return it, I think, on the 15th. So I only have two days to watch it. Oh, yeah, your TV arrived. It's old, but it's not broken. It even has a DVD player built in. It's mid-June and the sky hasn't cleared up yet. I don't give a fuck about that. I want to watch some TV. Like, I want to watch some DVDs. What? You should rest up for tomorrow. You know, I should slap you silly for always telling me what to do. I'm getting real tired of your shit, Morgana. All right, all right, we're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna meet Makoto on the rooftop. Let's do it. Hey. Hey, it's you. Morning, going to school now? I'm just heading home. The morning sun is too bright. Who the fuck is this? Who are you again? Huh? Hey, how could you forget a lovely gal like me? I don't know, I don't remember this bowl cut haired fuck. I'm Ichiko Oya, a journalist. I interviewed you at the Matarami residence, remember? Oh. Man, all-nighters are tough. Well, you work hard on your studies. Wow. I didn't even think, like, a character like that would actually appear in the game again. Like, you know when you see students walking towards the school and then you listen in on their conversation? You never think about those characters. I never I thought about her. You might not but I guess she came back into our lives. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A mafia boss. A mafia boss? Mafia? You want us to provide justice? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Hey, Ryuji, calm down with that fist, though. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. Mm. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's their boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous phantom thieves, or is Akechi correct when he says you act without justice? <laughs> Can't you say something witty back at her? I want to. Please don't tell the cops. <laughs> Give us the details. Something witty. I knew you were going to say that. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. Wow. I hope you don't let me down. She is a tough cookie. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. Okay, so all we know right now is that it's a mafia boss with no name 
targeting juveniles in some sort of phishing scam. Got it. So why can't we just open up the app? Do we need the name? I forgot. I think we do need the name. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure we need the name. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Oh yeah, your sister. Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? She sure was. She wanted some justice. You don't believe me? You seem upset. You never noticed? <sighs> yeah, got you Why there, huh? Why would Makoto... Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? Cow! We are in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. Mm -hmm. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? I say that let's prove our justice. Hell yeah. We just got to do what we always do. Mm -hmm. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, cool. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Cool. So the four of us, the four musketeers, we are going to go split up. We're going to find out who this Mafia boss is. And we are going to do okay. whatever the fuck Makoto wants us to do. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find something new. Hey. Could I have a moment? What's up? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayuri. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. I'm not heading home, though. I wanted to explore. What the fuck? You just saw the Sayuri like yesterday. Calm down, dude. Indeed. Ah, the Sayuri. It seems to suit the cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. Yeah. <sighs> Z, I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. What are you talking about? To put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Hmm. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motives or techniques. However, those struggles came to pass on each occasion. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation. But the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. To tell the are you truth. aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired, when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. The goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayuri in my own work. Yet what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects such impurity of mind. To be honest, I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. You seem stressed. You're so tough on yourself! My apologies. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. 
Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. Hmm. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Z, please look over there at the Sayuri. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Bro, you know that's your mom, right? Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs! But if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What then is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand! To be perfectly frank though, I am unsure of how to do so. Z, would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'll be glad to help. Maybe when I have some time? Come on, don't be a dig, Z! I'd be glad to help. I'm in your You would? Wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. See you. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. I walked Yusuke to the station. Aw, oh, what a sweet guy! You see, Z is a ladies' man, and he's also a man's man. Rain, huh? I hate the rain. It always brings me down. Bitch, you bring me down. So I checked online, and people are talking about it all over. Now, in my expert opinion, Lita of Class 2D is guilty! You mean Lita-kun from our class? Wait, start at the beginning. What's he guilty of? Supposedly, he's been spending money left and right recently. Said it's because of some great part-time job he got. I see. That may very well be worth looking into. Right? Can you try asking him about it, On? I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't mind giving it a try. Although, I've rarely talked to Lita-kun before. I'll be counting on you to back me up if something happens, Z. Leave it to me! Thanks, that's a huge help. I'm hoping for some great things this time from Takamaki-san's world-class wonderful acting! Shut it! I hope this will get us even marginally closer to their so-called boss. I leave this... Is it Lita or Ida-kun? I'm just gonna say Lita. I leave this Lita to you two. And I have high hopes for your acting as well, On. You're both missing the point! Hey! Is it true that Lita guy's guilty? Well, we'll need to dig up some dirt first in the morning. Alright, it is now after school. We are gonna go talk to Lita-kun. Hey, I see Lady On's going to talk to Lita. You're gonna back her up, right? Yeah. We're gonna back her up with our big muscles. And so I really so need some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Lita-kun, please. You don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? huh? Um, now that you mention it, yes. So, um, what I mean is... This is going south fast. Oh, Francois! Huh? Hey, wait! Hey, what are you... My cat Francois got run over by a car, and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. <sighs> That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Yes, Francois, um... now shut it! If Francois were to die, I think I'd die too, probably. Come on, don't talk like that! You if you don't what? like it, then Do tell you? me about that easy part-time job! You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Huh? Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... That's She's incredible. actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on, let's leave this guy to on and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Do you have anything you want to ask about? Nishiyama! Where is he? Are you looking for him? He's really serious with great grades. I always see him at the library. Okay. Library, library. Should be somewhere right here, right? Faculty? Where would the library be? Nishiyama? That's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? What happened to Lita? What's this about a job? Job? 
Are you talking about that one time? I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. That's something, Lita. Wait. Are you doing something to him? He's been acting really strange lately. Tell me what I want to know. I want to help him. What do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Give me more details. One day the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Lita was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was this job? Um, I don't know. I was so scared I ended up going home alone. But according to Lita, it only takes 10 minutes and is good for people who don't stand out. What happened after that? Lita started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? Mm. A man on Central Street, hmm? How suspicious. This is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? I don't know, but I don't like where this is going. Have you found out anything, Z? I have tried looking into this high-paying part-time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. Supposedly a man will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street. And your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I will contact you again if I learn anything more. Okay, let's save on from this awkward conversation. Hey! Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois... Uh... She's still doing that? Alright, take over for her. Tell us the truth. Z? Come on, you two! I already told you, I don't know! We have proof. Nishiyama told me everything! He did?! That bastard! Damn it! Shit! Well, if you already know about it, fine. But I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. Don't ask me why I gave that guy like a British sounding accent. Please don't. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Well, actually, it doesn't sound that different. <laughs> yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? You're a tutor. You're a pizza smuggler. You're a drug smuggler. How did you... I've only told one person about that. And that one person told moi. Of all people, I can't believe you were the one to find out. Yeah, so? You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Did you accept the money? Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? Never. Not a bad idea. Never! I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. How'd it go? Did Ahn's acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything, Z? It's drugs. So they ask you to deliver drugs. That's serious. I just searched for Shibuya drugs and got tons of hits too. So they're making people traffic drugs, then threatening them. That must be what I heard people talking about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite openly during the daytime. What bold methodology. I would have imagined they would do it at night. I wonder why they chose the day. Because sometimes, yeah, sometimes you just need to blend in. I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day, while the police will be more cautious at night. Exactly! Ryuji, you're over in Shibuya now, right? Did you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm at Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, there are just way too many people. The goddamn rain's not helping out either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do, Z? Let's do this tomorrow. Let's stop for today. Okay, let's do this tomorrow. Yeah, that seems like our only choice now. We can split up and search separately then. In any case, we have some new intel. Let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on that job should know who their boss is too. Alright, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight and we can come up with a plan. 
So now we have some sort of idea where all this is coming from. They're trafficking drugs and they're using students to do it. So we are going to figure all that stuff out in the next episode. If you guys are excited to see that, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!